Okay, let's have a look at how it now. Let's delete this high level one here. Okay. Um, it's producing a times table. Okay, let's copy that over since I don't have the Python file. Okay, make the following change to the program. Apparently the first line that is printed by the program is multiplication program. Change the program to the first line printed is times table program. Okay. Update the program so that the row of asterisks appears above and below the okay. Amend the program to ask and accept the user choice of number to be used as the multiplier. Okay, so enter number is what we want. Number equals int input enter number. Okay, let's see. And then our example is eight. Currently, the user can enter a negative number. A negative number should not be allowed in this program. Amend the program so that the time table is not printed out and the appropriate error message is if the user enters a negative number. When the program is run and the user enters minus two is shown. Okay. I don't know about zero, though. I think zero should be allowed, but it's not saying anything about zero. So we're just going with negative numbers. So if number is less than zero, print. This program does not support negative numbers. Else, then we can run a program. All right. Timetables normally show the results of multiplying a specific number by zero to 12 inclusive. Amend the program so it displays the results of multiplying the entered number by zero to 12 inclusive. When the program is run and the user enters number eight, the output may look like this as well. So, okay, so we can go zero to 12. What do we have right now? We have zero. Let's, let's just do, so it goes zero to nine, not 12. Yeah, so we need, this needs to go to 13 then. Yeah, zero to 12. So if I run it again and have eight, should get zero to ninety six. Yeah. Update the program so it displays the results in the front two times three. Yeah. Okay. So we want a nice display here. So print and I times um, number equals. Let's see how this looks. Uh, zero to 12. Yep, looks nice. Okay, and now on to the B part. So we have to write a program now. So I'll just, I'll just put it on the top for the moment. Right. Implement a program for a temperature alert system. We, you should use comments. This, uh, your program should do the bottom display message which output welcome to the temperature alert system. Okay, I can do that. Ask the user temperature temperature in degrees Celsius. Okay, I can do that. Use a conditional statement that put different pieces of information based on temperature values in the input by using to the table below. Okay, so let's see now. If T 
temperature is less than 20, 20 between 20 and 24, inclusive, I guess. Well, if temperature is greater than or equal to 20, and the temperature is less than or equal, equal to 24, print. And then, well, if the temperature is more than 24, 24, print. Too warm, turn heating down. Temperature is just right. Too cold, turn heating up. Okay. And then let's test it out. Okay. Yeah, okay, that looks like that one has been taken care of, but I just need to put in some comments. So this is the welcome message. And this um, asks user for the temperature and then um, displays this message when temperature is less than 20. This message is for between 20 and 24 inclusive. And um, anything more than 24 is this message. Always good to quit. Um, yeah, okay. 